Okay, everyone. So in this section, we'll be we'll be customizing our website. You know, we'll be customizing our site. How our site should look. That's basically what we will be doing at this section or on this section. So we'll be talking about the basic settings, the interface, creating menus, and adding content. You know, and we will also move to adding pages to our site. And it's very very simple to do that. So now we will head over to our dashboard. Which is uh which dashboard now we have an empty dashboard that is and our website is um personal finance blog so we will be doing things about finance you understand we'll be putting some things there which will be about some um, finance yes that's basically how or what we will be doing so this is our site and i'm heading to my dashboard yes so this is our dashboard and then we will create our first page to do our customization but before that as i said we will do some uh, some common settings so we will go to the customize then okay okay so we will customize our page so we will start from the site and see how the site should be looking at that. so um this is the rich block so this one when you put it on the page it's when you change it will change from here so it's basically the main title the tagline which is um a personal finance blog which is also here and then you can add sites up so, so when they say site icon let me give you an example of a site icon you will see that okay let me take this one um okay everything which You will see that anytime you um, open the website, you will see oh, this one is not showing. So let me just check one thing for you. Um, okay, let's see this one. You see that something will come from here. You see a, a, a little picture will come on this side. That's the site icon. Um, or this one is even the site icon. Yes, that's the site icon. And then you can set it. You can put a picture there and then use it as a site icon for now. We don't have a logo and if you want to create your website you need to have a logo for your site too like your business logo you understand okay so i'm going to choose any random picture okay i'm going to choose a random picture so i'm choosing a random picture to do to serve as a site icon so this one will be a site icon here so that everyone can see that it's our identity just like branding it's more like personal branding yeah. so they should see your site icon so that they will know that they place with you okay so you can use the same thing to set up the logo or something so now after setting identity you need to check your colors or everything this one you can be doing them whilst you are designing the website so you will now take it from here for now on the menus, we'll talk about the menus too later, and then we will do the widgets. We'll talk about them later. The typography, how we want your your writing should be understand. Let's say this one you want it to be the body, everybody that you do. We have a font size. This one is 14. You have um font style, how you want it, italic or normal. You understand? We will be doing all those stuff um later on the video. Your website, the you have the ability to be able to do that. Then the main menu. It, it depends we are having all these features because of the um the thing that we choose so the team gives us more more and more what um how do you call it more and more and more um options and features that we can use so after setting your everything you click on publish then you go to go shop so now we are going to start with for the customization we are going to start by creating a home page yes we will start by creating our home page so you go to pages and then you go to you click on add new page okay, so, so you are going to title it as home you understand yes so you are going to title it as home and then you just design how the display but 
we have um, a page builder actually that will give you a template and the easiest way to design your page, your home page to look like something like this. I've written how nice this one is. Sure, if, uh, for something to look like this, or even um, I mean, in one example, one one website for you to see. Or even something like this. Have you seen how nice this one is? Sure. So this one is is built by a page builder, and this one we will talk about it um in the advanced class actually. So this one is basic. So we are taking to the basic class. So once this one is up and out, we are going to upload a picture, a simple picture. But let's do columns first, so that you have a column, uh, some sections for any other things. You understand? So. Now let me take this one. Of course, I want to put a picture there. So column. So column. I'm going to put um only two two columns. So here you put a picture, an image, the simple image. I'm going to upload this. So I'll get it from uh, from the one of the let's read and load it. Sure. So we have this one, and then we are going to have maybe a written sample, uh, maybe title heading. We are going to have a heading, just like maybe um your uh, yes. So we can put it in. We can. This one is the alignment, so you press the line center or anything that you want. You can bold it to highlight. This is basically how it is, and very simple. So you can add some a bit more. Um, so let's say, let me just copy this thing, this content. Okay. So this is basically this will be the home page of our website. Yes. So, and you can add more features by adding maybe um. Latest post, latest post, because it's a blog site. We should have a latest post so that people can know and view more of our posts. That we have not done any post, so we have the hello world. Okay, so after everything, we just have to watch publish. So you publish this, and now your page is ready. But you have not set your 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 main home page so now so your website is the same it does not change and we have to actually set our home page so once you have done creating our home page you go to the dashboard again and then you move to appearance that's then you move to customize yeah. 